The best nickname? Oh, that's a good question. I, I like I like the bus. I mean, I think that's a good one. White shoes, that was a good one. The snake, that that's one you can't forget. I like the bus though. I think that was that's one you don't forget. When I see CJ Anderson, he he's the, the guy that you know you say, you know, kind of looks and runs like the bus. He's not afraid to to mix it up in there. He got a little extra down in the stomach area, which sometimes it helps. So yeah, I like I like CJ Anderson, but most importantly, I like his game. I am definitely afraid of the Patriots. I mean, as much as we talk about. Uh, them not winning, uh, we don't think they're going They always find a way to be in the game. They may not win, but it's always going to be a close football game. You know, when can you recall the Patriots being blown out, especially in the playoff game? You just don't see it happen, especially a Super Bowl. It doesn't happen. They'll be in the game, so it's going to be close. I'm, I'm rooting for the Rams. Obviously, I got drafted by the Rams. I would love to see them win. Um, score. It's, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. So maybe like 34-31. I think Jared Goff, if the Rams win, Jared Goff is definitely going to be the MVP because he will have had to put up some significant points under pressure and he would have, made, have had to make some big plays during the course of the game. So Jared Goff. I'm definitely disappointed in the 2018 Steelers because I really felt that they had a, a championship caliber football team that imploded uh, and, you know, very disappointed. Uh, I, I believe that, you know, they, they can get it back together, but it has to happen internally uh, and the discipline has to be there. Right now, it, it's not a disciplined uh, team and the organization is really taking a hit. It's a Mike Tomlin thing. It's an ownership thing, it's a coach thing, and it's a player thing. Everybody uh, is complicit in this. So everyone, it's gonna take everyone being involved in the solution, from ownership, from Coach Tomlin, the, the coaches, and the players. Everybody has to look at themselves and know that they can do a better job. I, I would love to see that, that situation work itself out. I would love to see him stay in, Pits, in, in Pittsburgh, uh, and retire a, a Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of work to make that happen, but I think it's possible, and I think it can happen. It was just a question, not at all the, the plan at all. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be one of those where I'm going to be the running back coach. It was just to see what the thoughts were outside of my household, that's all. Right now, I'm coaching uh, my kids. I have a 14-year-old, an 11-year-old, and so the goal is to make sure that they have the foundation that they need uh, for later in life. So that's the only coaching I'm doing right now, parenting. I'm extremely proud of the season that Notre Dame had. Uh, you know, they won all the games that, that uh, were on the schedule, and that's all you can ask. Uh, but what it's done is it's put them back on the national stage. The recruiting uh, is has become a lot better as a result of the season they had. Yes, they lost to Clemson, but everyone, uh, as it turns out, lost to Clemson. So it's not such uh, a bad thing. And they got a chance to see what playing against an eventual champion looks like. And you got a chance to see what, what we're missing, where we're missing uh, key um, athletic talents, and what we need to do to get better. So I think all in all, it was a great year, uh, and it puts us in position to have even better years. Everybody hates on Notre Dame because it's such a historic um, uh, school, the history, uh, the championships. Uh, it was, you know, it was you know the best school in in uh, the college ranks for a lot of years, and especially early on, uh, different parts of the country hated Notre Dame because it was perceived as being uh, this this school that was. Uh, affluent, but still won games, and it's. I think it's still kind of looked at that way uh, a little bit. So you just got to deal with the uh, the Notre Dame haters. That's part of it. I I'm here in, in support of the FedEx Air and Ground program, and, and uh, the FedEx Air and Ground Awards uh, right now is going to be awarded to one of three uh, quarterbacks and one of three running backs uh, at the NFL Honors uh, this Saturday, and. You can vote for 
Saquon Barkley, Ezekiel Elliott, or Gurley uh, from the running back perspective, or Drew Brees, uh, Patrick Mahomes, or Phillip Rivers. On the quarterback side, you can vote at NFL uh, Twitter page or NFL.com slash FedEx. And you can vote all the way until this Thursday, the 31st, and who, whoever wins, they will, their names will be um, uh, given as part of the donation that FedEx is giving $20,000 for the ground and for the air uh, awardee is going to the USO. And that money is going to a, a program called the Pathfinder program, where what they do is uh, that money goes to help the servicemen and women or their spouses uh, get reacclimated into civilian life. So very important cause uh, and it's going to be a great, a great opportunity to see who wins.